when you see tankers like this one, you may think industry, petrochemicals, or maybe even hard work. But I assure you, there are few in Houston thinking anything but. It was a time of discovery. A time of innocent innovation. A small ripple that would set in motion a wave of change forever. <laughs> this is what we live for right here. Let's do it. Ooh, look at that. What we're doing out here is we are chasing the large container ships that travel throughout Galveston Bay and the Houston Ship Channel. And we're riding the wake that they create. That's what we call it, anchor surfing. The differences between that and beach waves is the wave is so much longer. You'll never find anything in the world other than a couple of tidal bore waves that get you this distance of a ride. But you're actually on a wave for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So it sort of really turns into something else. I mean, it does different things to your body, your mind does different things. And it's, it's just a whole other kind of world you move into. The thing that makes us so attracted to this is the fact that we've only seen two boats in nearly 10 years. We've had this place to ourselves. It's like unheard of in today's surfing world. I got a question for you, John. How come there's not people all over the place here, do you think? Because they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> Where the dangers come in are everything that's lurking below the surface, the really shallow water, just a lot of stuff littering the bottom here in the bay. But the wave breaks so far away from the ship, it's, it's safe in that respect. <laughs> Hell of a ride. Good mile. You catch one of these waves, and you'll never forget it, and you'll definitely want to do it again. Let's do it. It's an interesting, freaky thing to do. Ah. This is another way to ride away.